So let's go. So um, I'm going to talk about the Gardener Managed Seed Ingress Controller. So um, an ingress controller is something you're probably familiar with in the Kubernetes context. And uh, we have a new feature in 1.15, um, which allows a Gardener Managed Ingress Controller to be installed in seeds. Well, um, more details to come. So first of all, yeah, the community, uh, you can reach us well on Slack and you can reach me on Slack as well in the Kubernetes um, Gardener channel uh, with my first and last name. Um, yeah, I'm gonna talk about a little bit about the background uh, of what is an ingress controller, uh, motivation for our change, the pain points, your configuration options, as well as a short demonstration, what that looks like. Uh, who am I? My name is uh, Max Becker. I work for SAP. I'm a member of the core team. I'm one of the newer members of the teams at SAP, of the team at SAP. Yeah, and I'm happy to share the knowledge here and what uh, we build. Okay, let's start. So um, what is an ingress in the Kubernetes sense? Um, plain definition would be an API object that manages external access to the services in a cluster. So we're talking about level seven load balancing, SSL termination and features that come with that. Um, so um, how does it look like? There is an ingress resource in your cluster which defines routing rules uh, to services and um, you have a client which accesses that from external. Uh, where do we use ingress controller in um, Gardener. Well, this is this broad architectural diagram. We have the garden cluster, the seed cluster, and the shoot cluster. Um, I'm going to focus only on the right part here. And in this seed cluster, uh, we deploy the shoot cluster control planes, and each one of them has logging and monitoring deployed with them, um, like uh, Prometheus, for example as well as the seed cluster also have its own Prometheus and, um, uh, and Grafana. And um, now we um, expose an URL the client can use to access his monitoring and logging stack, for example, the shoot cluster owner. And for this, we need external access and for this we need ingress. So how does that look uh, in detail? So um, a request to the Prometheus pod would be in the C cluster would look like this. You have a client which uh, gets his uh, URL to the um, Prometheus uh, service, uh, for example, from the Gardener dashboard. He asks the DNS uh, service for the um, external IP, which will then um, um, route him to the load balancer service. There is an Nginx ingress controller, which um, um, lives behind that load balancer service. He reads the ingress configuration and um, routes the request to the correct service. In this case, the service would be Prometheus. So we're still on the introduction slides. Um, now we go over to um, what was our motivation for the change. Um, so basically we have two use cases or two pain points. If you wanna create a seed with Gardener, you can either do that um, via creating a plain seed, I called it like this. So you um, um, define the seed resource. And for this, you currently need to manually install an ingress controller into that seed. And you also need to manually create that DNS record. I'm going to go one slide back, talking about this DNS record, um, which maps to the IP of the the external IP of the load balancer service. Um, this is basically this was also an issue uh, opened by the community, so we're happy to provide a solution for that. There is another use case that if you can rely on a garden cluster and if you have a shoot, so-called shooted seed, um, you can use the Nginx add-on, which is part of the shoot manifest, which will install an Nginx ingress controller. So um, we do not recommend this ingress controller um, 
for productive use cases. Uh, we officially only say it should be used for hello world use cases and it's also hard for us to update it because we have a lot of dependencies to shoot owners possibly. So we recommend everybody that he uses shoot it seat to use the new option. How to use that I'm going to explain in a bit. So speaking of how to configure it, um, we're seeing here a seed resource in the old, uh, the old way would be to just uh, define an ingress domain and basically create everything yourself. Like that, that is the ingress controller plus uh, the NS entry uh, routing to that. And um, what is new is you can basically specify a provi DNS provider um, with the according secret. And in this case, we're going to use the AWS route 53. So there and DNS entry will get created automatically. And um, you also need to specify the ingress section, which will, um, where you can specify a controller. Currently we only support Nginx, but possibly others in the future as well. And you can pass in a provider config, which will, uh, which will let you uh, make modifications in, for example, infrastructure specific, if your Nginx ingress controller needs infrastructure specific configuration or just uh, yeah th for this deployment specific. So this was a configuration for the seed we just saw. Now let's look at the shooted seed configuration. If you are using that, you might know that we are using an annotation currently to declare a shoot as a shooted seed. Uh, this is the use as seed annotation and um, there in this annotation, you can also define an ingress controller kind and a provider config, which will then lead to this shoot resource being reconciled, a seed resource being created with the configuration I showed you here. Uh, just one small heads up. Um, we're currently I'm currently talking about shooted seats where uh, you might have heard also the talk um, couple uh, from Pavel um, before in the community meeting, we're going to deprecate that and in the future call it managed seat and also have a proper um, API resources to create and in, instead of relying on an annotation. This is unrelated to this um, engine exchange, but it's just uh, what's going to come. It's currently in development. Okay. So I think I've got uh, about 10 minutes. So let's jump into and look into the code, how that would look like. So, oh. um, so first of all, um, here we see, um, I'm currently, I currently first wanna um, show you how the seed configuration looks like. So I'm first gonna show you the, an, seed which is not yet migrated. And then I'm going to show you a seed which is migrated. That means which uses a new ingress controller and first one that doesn't use it. So um, this one, um, I'm, I'm talking to the garden cluster currently and I'm looking at a, um, at a seed which is currently mm, not yet using the new configuration and to make that even clearer, I'm going to put on the other side the configuration, how it's going to change. So we're going to see the old DNS configuration with an ingress domain. There's no ingress in here. It's just the ingress domain. And um, now I'm going to switch to this cluster. So the cluster we just looked at. Um, and there we see, if we look at the ingresses, we see that um, we have the ingresses I talked about for the seed cluster itself, which uh, have um, the Prometheus, the Kibana, the Kibana, and we also have a shoot cluster installed, which also, um, which also point to Grafana and Prometheus. And if we look at the ingress class, we're currently using, so what I typed in here is I'm looking at the shoot 
ingress Prometheus, and I'm looking at the ingress class. So every ingress has an ingress class and an ingress controller also defines an ingress class. And that uh, defines that the ingress controller watches this ingress and routes traffic accordingly. Um, and here we see somebody here is an ingress class used called nginx. And um, there's somewhere in the seed is an ingress controller installed, which uses this ingress class and reacts to it. So this was the case before. Now we look at how it's going to look like. And um, now I'm going to look at um, a seed which already has the new feature enabled. And there we're going to see in the DNS section, what we also see on the right, there is a provider specified. Um, we are using AWS Route 53 to create the DNS record. And we also have an, um, an ingress controller, namely Nginx specified here. Um, and now let's look how that looks inside the cluster. So this seed cluster, we just saw the um, seed resource for, we're gonna look how this looks inside the cluster. First of all, we're gonna look in the ingresses. So what I go do here is I'm gonna look at the ingress Grafana and I'm gonna search for the ingress class. And what I see here is this ingress class has the annotation engine X gardener. If I go back to the other cluster, it had the ingress class engine X. And that's how we make sure that the new ingress controller picks this ingress up. So basically we migrate all existing ingresses that are um, managed by Gardener, like for example, the Prometheus ingress, and we add a new ingress class called Engine X Gardener. And then what we also do, if you, we enable the feature, we are going to um, deploy the uh, ingress controller with this ingress class. And we deploy this in the garden namespace. So let's have a look at this. So there is a, in the garden namespace, there is a deployment called Nginx ingress controller. And I'm gonna uh, look at the binary that gets executed here, which has the ingress class Nginx gardener defined, which matches the ingress class of the ingress. So that's how we basically enable a smooth migration. Um, it's important to note that if you have other ingresses and other ingress controllers installed in your cluster, they will not be touched. That's no problem and supported because you're going to use other ingress classes. And unless you use Nginx Gardener, there's not going to be a conflict. Now I talked about um, DNS entries. And we have this um, extension which creates those for us. Here I put in kube control in the garden namespace, the DNS entry. And this is the DNS entry which got created here. And more specifically, we're using, um, and, and this ingress, you see, this is the URL you can use to access Grafana. This matches the DNS entry which got created here. So the DNS entry routes to the Nginx ingress the uh, controller, the ingress controller watches the ingress and routes to this specific uh, Grafana service if this well is um, used by the client. Okay, um, one last thing to show is um, the managed seed, which I talked about. I'm gonna put that here. Here on the right, you see how to configure the managed seed resource. And here, I wanted to show you how that looks like. Um, I go again to the garden cluster and and here, I didn't wanna show the complete shoot manifest, but I'm looking at this shoot, which is called GCP, which is used as a shooted seed. And this one already has the feature enabled. 
And you can see an annotation in shoot Gardener cloud use as seed, which has ingress controller kind engine X enabled, which matches what is written here. Uh, we don't have a provider config specif specified here. What is important if you enable it for a suited seed, you also need to disable the engine X add-on in the shoot manifest um, and enable it via this annotation then the migration will get triggered. Otherwise, um, it will wait until you remove the add-on. Okay, um, I hope this was understandable. I'm very happy to answer your questions. And also, if you have further questions, you can also reach us always on Slack. That's it from my side, thank you. Thanks, Max, I think it was quite good. There is one question in the chat, so to be a silent no, what? if you want to unmute, or should we read it for you? Uh, I can read it. Question for Max. Why do you suggest using the new seed DNS settings rather than the old way? Okay, cool. Yeah, so um, I guess you talk about why to use the new ingress controller instead of the old one. And with yeah. the mean the shooted yeah. seat currently, right? Yeah, that's correct. I mean, it makes sense that you can uh, uh, install your own ingress controller. And this way, you could make sure that this ingress controller will be used for whatever reason, own uh, SSL certificates, um, some other weird settings, and so on. Uh, yeah, I think that's the main reason for, for suggesting this, no? You, you mean, yeah, that we have the control over it? I think uh, I agree with you, but I also want to say that um, for us, it's also that we, uh, for us, it's easier to support an ingress controller that runs on the seat because it's, a, uh, it's only touching the operators and we can update it without breaking any shoots. Um, and currently when we have the, the shoot add-on, we have a hard time updating it and we're also not supporting it productively. So for us, it's, um, for us, it's a matter also who uses it because now you, this one you can't declare in your shoot, but only in your seed manifest. And we have control over it's only going to be used in seeds and we can update it regularly and we're going to, while the one that is used as a shoot add-on, we want to slowly deprecate and we are not recommending for productive support. Um, is that kind of understandable? Mm. Because the, the configuration is interfaced at different places. You know, the, here you would uh, specify it only for seeds and the other one can also be used for all shoot clusters. Mm -hmm. And this- yeah. yeah, yeah, makes sense. I mean, uh, in our case, we install own ingress controllers into the shoots anyway. So we have an Nginx for internal and external traffic. And we don't need to mess around with the with the seed engine X at all. I mean, there's the uh, there's the dashboard for the seeds, right? With Grafana and Prometheus, if you if you're using the Gardener dashboard stuff, um, yeah. And uh, I haven't touched this yet, so we don't have a valid SSL certificate at this point for this. So it would make sense in this case. Yeah, 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 makes sense. Thanks, uh, that answers my question actually, yeah. Great, uh, if you have follow-up questions, feel free to ask us again. It's like, yeah, <laughs> I think uh, our time is up. Thank Thanks you. for your question. Thank you.